Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we'll be checking out the Axe Wove six scale figure by Hot Toys from Season 2 of The Mandalorian. The front features an image of Axe Wove's from the belt up in a combat crouch, his torso twisted to showcase his JT-12 jetpack in profile and with a Westar 35 blaster pistol held at the ready. The characteristic chrome Star Wars logo is partially obscured by Hot Toys' signature cigar band in the familiar tones of orange, amber, and umber that we've come to associate with the company's Mandalorian line of six-scale figures. As usual, the cigar band sports two more images of Axe Wolves, one in a flight pose and the other in a ready stance. Removing the top of the box reveals the expected insert, this time featuring yet another photo of Axe wielding his Westar 35 in a two-handed grip, blasting away and surrounded by a cloud of sparking embers. Pulling out the insert reveals the figure and its accessories in a black plastic clamshell. There lies Axe Wolves in the center, surrounded by a selection of accessories. They include a JT-12 jetpack, a pair of jetpack effects, four additional swap-out hands, and a single Westar 35 blaster pistol. Visible beneath Axe's legs at the bottom of the clamshell is a gridded display base, and you can catch the slightest glimpse there of the clamp for the included flight stand. Beneath the clamshell you'll find a folding printed backdrop featuring the exterior of an Imperial Gazanti freighter. Pulling the figure and its accessories out of the box shows us everything we have to work with. There's Axe standing there in the center atop his gridded display base. To the right you can see the JT-12 jetpack as well as the jetpack effects. On the table in front of Axe, you can see the included flight stand as well as the clamp for elevating him into a flight pose. To the left is the Westar 35 blaster pistol as well as the extra hands, including a pair of fists and a pair of hands for wielding the blaster. Now let's take a head-to-toe look at the Axe Woes figure. The helmet is radiant in tones of cobalt blue crowned with a silver circle just above the characteristic Mandalorian T-visor. That visor is surrounded by a matte black section and the entire helmet is strategically weathered with fine black smudges and silver scratches. The blue and silver jetpack is magnetic and will attach with confidence to Axe's back. The undersuit is a neutral gray throughout with a mixture of fabric and faux leather panels as well as some very intricate stitching. The only deviation from this is at the traps which provide attractive fabric accents and a bright silver tone. The pauldrons? Quiris and Quisses are all rendered in that same flat black, and all of those elements are attached to the undersuit with Velcro. The van braces and the pole lanes contrast with the rest of that suit in the same cobalt blue as the helmet. And a pair of black faux leather greaves protect the tops of the sculpted boots, printed to mimic the appearance of brown leather. Now let's take a look at the articulation of the figure. The rangefinder is articulated and will swivel the necessary 90 degrees to put it into its business position. The head rests on a double ball jointed neck which will allow it to shift forward and back, left and right, and all points in between. Additionally, you can rotate that helmeted head as far as you'd like. The head will look down well past 45 degrees with about the same range of motion when looking up. And it will also tilt the same amount from side to side. The shoulder joints are very solid and will shrug, dip, press, and row. The joint for lateral raise is not ratcheted and will hit just shy of 90 degrees. The ratcheted joints at the swivel point, however, will allow you to hit 135 degrees of anterior lift as well as a comfortable 90 degrees of posterior lift. The double jointed elbows will allow for over 135 degrees of flex. And the expected pivot point above the bicep enables the arm to rotate there. The torso is nicely articulated and will allow for about 30 degrees of crunch. With a slightly greater range of motion for extension. There's about 25 degrees of lean to be had. and you can hit more than 45 degrees of torso twist. The legs will allow for a full 90 degrees of lateral lift. With nearly the same amount of range to be had interiorly, and about 25 degrees of posterior lift. 
The double jointed knees will hit about 145 degrees of hamstring flex. And the customary break at the thigh will allow the leg to rotate there. Finally, the feet are on a double ball joint, allowing for a great range of extension, contraction, pronation, and supination. Finally, let's take a look at Axe's accessories. The JT-12 jetpack is painted in cobalt blue with metallic accents. Multiple layers of paint provide depth and realism on the same level as those on the armor components. The grips on the West R-35 blaster pistol are painted in a combo of metallic and flat black, while the barrel is decorated in tones of blue. The jetpack effects are cast in clear resin colored in various degrees of fiery orange. The extra hands, as well as those that are included with the figure, are sculpted and painted to simulate leather, with an armored component over the top painted in matte black. The base is gridded, with deco to recall the deck of a starship, and the flight stand is highly articulated for hitting whatever flight pose you'd like. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Axe Wove 6 scale figure by Hot Toys from The Mandalorian. Be sure to tune in to Unsealed and Revealed, Strike a Pose, and How to Be a Poser for even more posable figure content. If you'd like more information on this figure, follow the link below. And, as always, don't forget to let your geek side show. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the S icon on your screen. If you'd like more information about the product featured in this video, click the link provided under Product Info. Again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to let your geek side show.